In this video, we will discuss on another important reaction or pericyclic reaction, which is cycloaddition. So, in cycloaddition reaction, it involves two different pi bond containing molecules that react to form a cyclic compound. If we look at the reaction below, you see uh, the difference between cycloaddition reaction with electrocyclic reaction is that cycloaddition reaction requires two starting materials, which is pi bond containing molecule. So if we look at the example here, we have uh, one starting material, which is 1,3-butadiene, and it is reacted with ethene, and it will form a cyclohexene. So when we look at uh, the product that form, we know that uh, when we undergo, when a compound, when a molecule undergoes cycloaddition reaction, the product will has two fewer pi bond than the sum of the pi bond in the reactants. If we look at the starting material, we have three pi bonds. So in the product, there will be only one pi bond and the formation of two new sigma bond. And cycloaddition reaction can be initiated either by heat or light. When it is initiated by heat, it is called thermal condition. But when it is um, initiated by light, it is called as photochemical conditions. And this cycloaddition reaction also identified by the number of pi electrons in the two reactants. Okay, there are two types of cycloaddition. The first one is 4 plus 2 cycloaddition. The dust alder reaction is a thermal 4 plus 2 addition that occurs between a diene with 4 pi electrons and an alkene with 2 pi electrons. That's why it is called 4 plus 2. 4 means diene with 4 pi and 2 pi, 2 here means dienophile with 2 pi electrons. So if you look at the example here, it is if it is 4 plus 2 cycle addition, so it will involve 4 pi electrons, 4 pi electrons, if we look at this, uh, the first starting material, the first starting material here, we have 2 pi bonds, so meaning that we have 4 pi electrons which interact with the dienophile that contain 2 pi electrons. So the resulting product is a mixture of these two products which will have um, two fewer pi bond and then two new sigma bond which is at this part. Okay, this uh, product is what we call as Dahl's alder product and the new pi bond here is what I circle with the yellow yellow ink here, right? Okay, another types of cycloaddition is 2 plus 2 cycloaddition. 2 plus 2 cycloaddition will only happen when it is under photochemical condition. A photochemical 2 plus 2 cycloaddition occurs when two alkene both has two pi electrons that form cyclobutane. Meanwhile, if we want to try to do 2 plus 2 cycloaddition, we cannot proceed it under thermal condition. So in this case, uh, if we look at the example, so let's say we have two pi electron and then another two pi electron. So what happened is that a new sigma bond will form between here and then this bond will be broken. This double bond will become um, single bond because you know that the product of cycloaddition normally contain less 2 pi bonds compared to the starting material. So what we have here is new sigma bond at um, the position where I highlighted with the yellow ink. And if we look at the reaction here, this reaction will not proceed under thermal condition. Only photochemical condition can produce this product but not thermal condition. 
Okay, so photo dimerization uh, involves the damage to DNA. Um, photo dimerization is actually a real life example of cycloaddition reaction. Okay, in our DNA, we have uh, a molecule named as thymine. So, if we have like two thymines in our body and then in our DNA, when it is exposed to UV light, it will form a dimer. Okay, it form dimer because you have double bond here and double bond here. When it undergo a photochemical condition, it will give you a dimer where these two um, pi bond now become new sigma bond. There will be a new sigma bond that connects both of the thymine. Okay, so this is the normal DNA strand. When it is exposed to UV, it will give you a dimer. So when it has dimer, meaning that uh, photochemical damage has occurred, meaning um, your DNA has uh, some damages due to the exposure of UV light. Okay. Look at the example here. When we look at the um, cycloaddition, we will know either it is 4 plus 2 or 2 plus 2. Okay, in this case, what type of cycloaddition is shown in each equation? Okay, you know that uh, this is the product. Okay, uh, this is the product and um, what happened is that when we try to combine these two products, we have uh, a new cyclobutane here and this region, which is the, the first starting material. And if we look at both uh, starting material, this bond is not affected. I mean, this pi bond or pi electron is not affected or not involved in the reaction. Since it is not involved in the reaction, so it only involves this and this. So it is actually a 2 plus 2 cyclo addition. And then when we look at the uh, second molecule here, so this is the product. The product shows that we have a bridge in the middle. So we have the bridge in the middle. Well, what we have is um, 1, 2, 3 pi bond. So in this case, uh, all, all pi electrons involved in direction to give you a bridge in the middle. Uh, this bridge is actually this part. The bridge that shows in the product is actually this part. So since both of the reactants involved in the reaction, so all of the electrons involved in the reaction, so this reaction is 4 plus 2 cycloaddition.